Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in to Natural Nicole on YouTube. Um, most of you guys probably came here from my blog at www.naturalnicole.com and I'm um, sorry for the background noise. I've got two dogs here and they're crazy. But uh, this review is the review of the infamous finger comber wig. So I uh, placed the order for it. It is a wig that is supposed to look like natural hair as you can see here. So what you see pictured here actually are two different types of wigs. So this is their wash and go wig right here. Um, and then this is their finger comber wig. And this is actually the wig that I purchased because I think it looks most like natural hair. And it's supposed to arrive pre-twisted like this. So it just arrived. It took two weeks to arrive and it cost $78 and shipping was $8.95. And I ordered my wig on fingercomber.com. So, and I indeed paid for it. This is not a paid review, nor did I receive the items for free to review. Um, so, the item came in a box, like much like this one, just a regular shipping box. And it was nicely wrapped within. As you can see, I really haven't opened it. I'm very excited. Um, and it came with this, which is, I guess, just like the DIY, DIY label. Just kind of showing you some of their different looks you can see. And it also came with this here, which is an instructional on how to care for your unit. So if you want to pause, you can read that. I'll just read some notes. Essentially, it's saying that the only way to take care of it is you spritz it with water every day, which is much like natural hair. And um, you can also fill a basin or a large bowl with warm water. Add um, shampoo and some conditioner, swish it around, and then uh, rinse it with cool water. And then if you want, you can actually twist it in a two-strand twist-out sort of technique. Um, and then run it under hot water and uh, allow it to air dry, and there you go. So that's how you care for it. And it's actually made of synthetic hair, um, but it's supposed to be like some sort of specially constructed synthetic fiber uh, that is supposed to mimic natural hair more. Uh, this company is actually owned by natural hair people, so uh, they're supposed to be really in the loop. And as you can see, I, leak, I think from the picture, you know, the product really isn't the type of thing you see other places. Um, on my blog, I've reviewed like regular curly wigs that I've kind of modified to suit my hair, but um, this is definitely, there was a reason I splurged the 78 bucks, and I call it a splurge because I can get a wig for 25 bucks. Um, so that's a big deal. And as you can see, so I've got my hair prepared. You'll see on the finger hair, finger comber website, they recommend that what you do is you braid your own hair back in cornrows. You can see my big old noggin. Got a giant head. And then they actually tell you to take your hair in the front. You're supposed to leave out some of your natural hair that you would then blend with the wig. So that's what I did here. And you're supposed to two-strand twist this or prep it as you normally would. My hair is moisturized and deep conditioned. So um, this is ready to be sort of blended in with the wig when I install it. Now, um, from my understanding, this wig doesn't come with any combs um, or clips, so uh, we'll see how it goes in terms of just kind of putting it on. Um, I don't have any bobby pins in front of me, but um, I will have a follow-up on my blog after kind of wearing it for a week and um, just kind of seeing how I feel about it. So this is just kind of the initial big reveal, all right? So here goes nothing. So we're going to open it up. That's what I'm doing now, just opening it up. There we go. Here we go. And I'm showing it to you guys. So it's wrapped in like a tissue paper. I'm going to make sure you guys can see all of that. It's wrapped in like a tissue paper. And there's nothing else in the box. It's just the hair piece, the unit. And so they sort of wrapped it in here. And it my initial impression, okay, first impression, it is big. <laughs> it's a lot of hair. Um, my hair is actually very uh, fine, as I've talked about on my blog a lot. It's very fine. It's very thin, kind of. So um, this is a lot of hair, way more hair than I have on my own head, which is good. That's not a bad thing, you know, because, you know, having a lot of hair is a good thing. So um, 
Oh, and it's got like its label, the finger comber unit, which is indeed what I've ordered. And I will say that it looks much like this photo. So here we go. It is officially out now. I am pulling the unit out now. Um, I will say it is not that sexy looking, like right out of the packaging. Um, it looks kind of like dreads. It feels soft though. It feels like, okay, so the best way to describe it is um, if this was my hair, I would feel like my hair was dry, okay? Like I would feel like my hair needs a little bit of moisture, but I wouldn't be afraid to... I wouldn't feel like it needed a wash. I would feel like, okay, if I miss, miss it with a little bit of water, throw some oil on that bad boy, I'm good to go. So it's, it's still kind of soft. Um, if someone touched it, touched it, they'd say, oh, okay, you know, you got a lot of hair, it might be a little dry, but it wouldn't be like, oh, my God, it's so coarse. Uh, it's not wiry. It's not hard. None of that. So um, just to kind of show you some of the unit. So the unit actually looks like it is very traditional, like it is a standard wig cap. I hope you can see all that. I don't know about the lighting. There you go. Standard wig cap. It does have uh, the elastic band and the hooks that kind of come around on the inside that allow you to fasten it. It's a pity the lighting in my dining room isn't better because I think you'd be able to see that a lot better. But there you go. It has hooks and it does look like it has like ear tabs, which I guess would designate what's the front and what's the side. So there is sort of more of the interior lace here and then two separate tabs here. So I'm actually just going to chuck this on. You guys are you're going to be witnesses to kind of what it looks like. I, I might look utterly ridiculous. Frankly, um, a lot of people like it when it arrives in the twist. I uh, don't know if I do, <laughs> but um, you know, why not, right? I never wear my hair in twists, as you probably know from the blog. So. Um, one thing I can say is it really, really looks like natural hair. Like, honestly, this looks like what I wish my hair looked like in terms of volume. Um, the texture is very similar to my own, and I would say that I am naturally about a 4A, just a very fine textured 4A. So if you're a 4A, this is for you. So I'm definitely going to tighten it, tighten the hooks sort of in the traditional way that one would when preparing a wig to put it on. And I am going to put this on. Now, I'm not going to put this on a f as a full head wig, as most people do. I'm actually just going to kind of install it right in the front. Um, immediate impressions? Uh, it is very snug. Uh, I have a huge head, so maybe that's part of it. It feels very snug on my head, which um, is not a bad thing in my book. I would still put bobby pins in to secure it some. Um, so there you go. I, looking at it here, okay, again, first impressions. Um, now, first impression of it on my head, it looks like my hair. That is probably the most important thing about any wig uh, or hair extension is that when you put it on, it actually looks like it could be yours. So uh, right out of the gate, it looks like my hair, already a plus. Um, do I like it in the twist? Probably not so much, but that might just be a personal preference. I've never really liked my hair in twist, so or in two strand twist. I feel like two strand twists are a means to get my hair more defined to wear it in a twist out. Um, but I may do something with like pinning it up. So you can see in the front of my hair. I'm hoping you can see the front of my hair that um, it totally blends in perfectly. Um, I haven't done the whole. What's advised on the website is that you take your natural hair, my hair, wig hair, and actually twist them around each other in order to blend them. And if you do that, then it actually results in what looks a little bit more natural. Um, so I mean, I'll do all of that, and I'll definitely, I definitely intend on sort of taking out the twist and seeing what it looks like in twist out form, and doing all of that stuff. But um, just a initial impressions, um, it looks like my hair. It's soft. Um, it looks really good. I'm actually really, really pleased with it um, because you know I'm always on a search for something that'll allow me to wear a twist out, protect my natural hair, but also. Um, you know, look natural, you know, like, because I do want to represent, um, you know, the natural 
hair community all the time, but you know, I also want to protect my hair and take care of it. So, um, initial reviews of the finger comber wig. It is a thumbs up. It is a nine out of ten right now. I haven't really messed with it in styling. Frankly, I haven't even seen what I look like in a mirror, just a webcam. So um, this is what I've got so far. And what I'm planning on doing is I think that I will um, obviously do a follow-up review on the blog so that you can uh, see what it looks like in twist-out form, so that you can see what it looks like uh, kind of styled, parted, some more pictures, um, and not just kind of out of the box. But you guys were here with me. You saw it first before my husband, before the world. So, um, finger comb or wig review. I like so far. All right. Uh, thanks for tuning in and keep checking back on uh, naturalnicole.com. N-A-P-T-U-R-A-L Nicole.com. See you there. Bye.